Today, we are taking a peek inside Anglesey Abbey. There are exotic interiors, fabulous paintings, clocks and ornaments, and a fascinating connection with the British royal family. The last private owner of Anglesey Abbey was Lord Fairhaven. He extended and remodeled the house, turning it in into a luxurious estate. So let's dive into his lifestyle. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the house. Have you been here before? We've been to the house before? Once. We've been here once. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Looking forward to explore more paintings. <laughs> um, we have a special exhibition on at the moment of Constable paintings. can clearly feel the evil spirit here. Glass beads. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's Italian uh, from the late 1700s. Mm -hmm. And it's the same on the other side. When the Queen Mother stayed there on the couple of the few occasions, that's his good to come in the That's actually 
This one? Yes. yes. And it would have stood on the table. What was on the other side? Uh, it would have stood on the table in the double side kitchen. kitchen. And you would have been able to tell the time constable. from every angle. So the, the, this is how you tell the time. Is it? It's a constable, it's yeah. On each, on each side. the Queen Elizabeth room doesn't refer to Queen Elizabeth II, the British monarch, but to her mother, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. That's something of the royal connection, but we've got more fascinating evidence coming up. interesting because he was actually in the household cavalry. Yes. He, he was in the uh, first life class and um, his mother just happened to have this, uh, it's an Alfred money, um, and it was painted when Lord Fairhaven would have been in the lifeguards. So he'd have known that horse and the rider. Uh, that's Constable. He had seven in his collection. That's uh, Dorna Eastberg. Oh. If you look at the middle, it's got their coat of arms on it. Uh, it says 1926. Ah. Uh. And unfortunately, the the room, the globe room from the reindeer in. Reindeer. They put a little nod to the reindeer. Um, the whole room was put into storage, and in World War II, it was destroyed. Um, but happily, the, the moulds of the original ceiling are in the Victorian Albert Museum. So if you buy an old house and you want a Jacobean ceiling, uh, you could always. Well, <laughs> and apparently, um, so it's a 16th, you know, it's a 17th century ceiling, um, and apparently, in, in this pub, uh, Oliver Cromwell would hold. Uh, the uh, corpse against the royalists, and when you go out of the room, there's a little bust of one of the well, it's quite a large bust of one of the problem. Um, and I think that's Lord Fairhaven. Can we little uh, nod to, to, to the history of the original The art collection of Anglesey Abbey reflects Lord Fairhaven's taste for British uh, painting of the 19th century and earlier, with particular fondness of animal and bird painting, as you can see here, landscape and Windsor Castle. There's a small yet significant collection of paintings by John Constable, a widely regarded as one of the greatest English paint landscape painters, comparable only to his contemporary and rival Turner. In front of us is embarkation of George IV from Whitehall, the opening of Waterloo Bridge, 1817. River Thames is depicted in the painting. The significant thing um, really is the link between the Waterloo Bridge and the bookshops. Mm -hmm. 
the elm from the uprights were saved and were turned into these bookshelves. And we have a little inscription on the side here to dedicate that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is where Lord Fairhaven did his work, that was his bed. His secretary would sit opposite to him. I imagine and that's the very heart of the house. Yes, would he, you say loved, so? he loved reading. He was a real mix of, of books. But in each room, um, and his bedroom has a little bookshelf. When Lord Fairhaven gifted the house to the National Trust, he wanted it to remain as, as it was, as his home. Mm -hmm. So we can't move things. Mm -hmm. Like this desk, this, this side is bleached by the sun, mm -hmm. the other side is a beautiful deep brown, but we can't move it. Mm -hmm. We didn't want it to look like that. We wanted it to look like a home. Uh, no labels, no lighting. So each of the constables have a small maroon disc. There's one there, one there. Mm -hmm. So when you go from room to room, if you look for the you find a constable. Thank this you. one is Lord Fairhaven, and this is his brother. Um, you probably heard downstairs, the pact was the, the boys bought it together, uh, wanted it to be an English country house, if they were born in America but mm -hmm. left England. The brothers agreed that the first one to get married would sell his share to the other, so Lord Fairhaven's brother sold his share when he wed in 1932. Prince Michael, this. Princess Margaret, Elizabeth when she was crowned, Charles, Charles. who's now our king, George. Amazing. <laughs> he, he used to give his guests a diamond nip tipped pen and if they Very wanted to. So the glass keeps on this memory here. All the, the, the members of the royal family who stayed, who, he, who wanted to do it. There, you won't find Prince Philip's name there, or Princess Anne. We don't know why, I'm sure they stayed. They're both horse lovers, and this house is very close to New Market Races. Yeah. Uh, it's Thanks for watching and a special thank you to the volunteer guides who took part. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel.